My name is Seamus Nolan, I'm a dairy advisor based in the Roscommon Longford unit. I want to talk for a minute or so about the importance of lime in grassland. On the offset, it's important to point out that applying fertiliser to land that has a, a lime requirement is like trying to fatten an animal that has an underlying health condition. In the case of the animal, you'll always treat the underlying condition, be it a worm burden or a fluke burden or whatever the case may be, first before you'll try and, and finish that animal. Otherwise, you're wasting money on expensive meals. It's the same with fertiliser and lime. So the underlying condition is, is low pH or acidic soils and the prescription is simply the application of, of lime to correct that pH deficiency. Mineral soils require a pH of about 6.3 to 6.5 so that they can operate at maximum efficiency. Peat soils have a lower pH requirement and therefore a lower lime requirement. Correcting a pH actually increases the, the N, P and K availability in the soil to plant roots. Uh, as a low pH actually locks up, uh, in particular, uh, nitrogen and phosphorus in the soil. One of the key measures of sustainability going forward is, is an increase in nitrogen use efficiency. A lime has a big role to play in this. Uh, a two tonne lime per acre spread will cost less than 50 euro per acre. The return on investment in this scenario is about seven to one on dairy farms and about four to one on uh, in dry stock farms where the lower fertilizer rates are generally applied. Clover is becoming more important than all farms, not just extensive farms now, and it has an actual high pH requirement where it must be over 6.5 in order for it to thrive. The message is to, to make a start and correct the underlying soil health issue on your farm, especially now where the conditions are extremely favourable to do that.